So now that we are done with actually installing Yannick right here, we're going to try and make our first app. Now we are using a Yannick CLI, right? The command line interface. So we have to run commands uh, that starts with Yannick. That's kind of the Yannick CLI command line interface. It always starts with Yannick. Like if you're used to using Git, you start writing Git. If you're used to, uh, whatever you're used to, if you use Angular, you start by writing ng something, right? That's the command line interface. Here we start with Yannick. And then we say start to make a starter app. We explain the name of the app and then we put in which of these three types we want to create. We can make a blank app, we can make something with tabs, or we can make something with a side menu. I'm just going to make this one right now. Don't make the blank one, it's just too boring for a first test. Go and make one of the others. Um, just jumping in here to my uh, Windows version right here. And I'm in my work folder right here on the root system. You can put it every, any way you want, right? But I'm going to put mine inside the work folder. I'm actually going to make a directory called uh, Yannick. That's what I want to go to. So I'll go to Yannick right here. And here I'm going to make this application. Now I expect when I run this command that it creates a my app folder. And it seems creating directory dot my app. So it just created an empty folder called my app in my Yannick folder now, right? And in there, it's going to put a lot of stuff. I'll let this run. I'll go to my beautiful, beautiful Mac as well and do the same thing. Now I'm inside something called customer app on Mac. That's another project. I don't want to override that. So let me just clear this out. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go out a few folders. I also have a work folder here. I'm going to make a directory called Yannick here as well. I'm going to go into Yannick folder, there we go, and here I'm going to fire the command, just like I did on the Mac, uh, sorry, on the Windows. I don't know why I have, don't have it right now, I guess I just missed it somewhere. Let me just copy this, and let me just paste it in here. <clears throat> there we go, now it's going to make the same one on the Mac. Again, it shouldn't be any different, so it's just going to make them both. I'll let this run, I'll get back to you guys when it's actually done. Now, after a bit of time, you'll be asked if you should connect the, uh, the app to Yannick dashboard. You can say yes, and then you'll be asked to log in and register, and then you'll have a dashboard. I'll show this later, but for now, just say no, uh, and then we can add it to the dashboard later on if we want to, but we don't want to right now. I'll do the same for the Windows machine. I'll just say no for now, but we will do it later, and uh, we'll try and work with the dashboard. But right now, it's just about launch, creating an app, and next lesson, we'll try and actually launch this app. So see you in the next lesson. Have fun.